Bro, no one's more heartbroken than me about this. Tell me uh, what happened, what's going on? Uh, so, start of the weekend fine. Um, I've just withdrawn after event one. I um, sprained my SI joint on the D ball. Like on my second or third D ball, I just felt it go and just had no power out of it basically. So, I was, initially, I thought maybe I was just cramping or something. So, I sort of kept going, and then when I got back, it just got progressively worse and sort of spoke to everyone. And in the end, Coop, my agent, actually came down and he's like, You're, you're done. So, and it's, I guess it like, it's like it sounds like the right call obviously like with the bigger picture and if it's not as serious as whatever then it might be like four weeks or something i'm back to back to training or it might be less than that but if i do more damage then it could be longer and you know i just i don't know man i'm just i'm gutted bro like it's just best i felt and like we put a lot of work into changing a lot of things in the games and now i just feel like like it kind of feels like not a waste of time at the moment but just feels like I couldn't showcase it and yeah I don't know bro just gutted eh? gutted I couldn't and like you know like I know there's people that came here to watch as well and they've, they've like spent money they're here for a weekend and I like, just can't can't do anything for that and that's probably what's like most heartbreaking I guess for it what um what particularly did you change between the games and now like what's actually changed body wise training wise yeah yeah so I've actually like I've dropped a fair bit of weight I'm eight kilos down from my games weight so, um, which was the plan. Um, and then training wise, it's just a lot less lifting, a lot more conditioning, you know, like, like I'm really quite confident in my running at the moment. Um, things like that. We just really pretty much flipped it on its head for the kind of athlete I was. And, and this is, I guess, the halfway point for us to see like, hey, what's this look like a bit lighter? And, you know, I guess if anything, the way I felt starting that, getting to the B-ball is like, I think we're on the right track, you know, like I felt great, run felt great, just, um, just unfortunate so I think it, if, if nothing else we got that from it. Bro, I heard you were up in the middle of the night bro. I just woke up in the middle of the night sweating bullets. I was like trying to overhead squat my bed like pushing against the headboard like moving my legs around. I'm like what the f It's like 1am in the morning dreaming of this workout and then I got up and had to have a cold shower just to like cool off so I could go back to sleep. Good Nonsense. Work. Okay, we got workout number three about to start. We've got the top men's heat behind me here. They have a five minute AMRAP. Forgot the workout. 46 max. They have 40 cows in the ski erg, followed by six rope climbs, and then whatever time's left in the five minutes, max overhead squats at 100 kgs. Okay, I mean, Johan is gonna, oh, little photo bomber. Johan is the tallest man in the field. I reckon he can probably pull the ski erg the hardest, but overhead squats, Peter Alice mate, I saw him in the war zone, he can move that bar fast, so... We got Zane Healy, Johan Van Zyl and Peter Alice on the ropes at the same time. Sneaky Pete, only got one rep left, I reckon he's gonna do it. Sneaky Pete, here he comes, ready for the OBS squats. It's Sam Thomas, also finishing up his run to the We have Peter Ellis and Zach Thomas. Zach's putting a belt on, Pete's straight into it. I reckon we might be witnessing a star being born here. Peter Ellis, he's got 30 seconds left, won the lead. It's going to go three for three, baby. Three, two, one, time! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the E3 winner, Peter Ellis! Jamie Goodwin plays four, So I'd say Gracie Walton is probably the strongest athlete in the field here, but rope climbs is not her friend, unfortunately. So there's six of those. So let's see. Let's see if she can uh, make her money on the overhead squats. Stand by. Alright, for this five minute camera, please. We are at that one minute 35 
with Amy Kringle and Annika Greer off the ski at first. But uh, we've got Gracie Walton and Maddie not far behind. Okay, Maddie Sturt on the last road climb. She'll be the first Maddie and Grace, neck and neck. Maddie and Grace, neck and neck. Here comes Maddie. Oh, they are taking forever to pick the bar up. Here we go, Maddie and Gracie at the same time. Okay, it's Gracie Walton and Annika Greer. Annika Greer takes the lead. <laughs> yeah, you did. Shouldn't I drop that? That was stupid. Damn, that was dumb. Did anybody get more than me in the first seat? Quick no. chop for you. Okay, well, thank God. 13 before this. Alice Kitty for life, mate. Alice Kitty for life. <laughs> All day, every day. Yeah. First one off the ski. Who am I? Love you. The great thing about being friends with all the athletes is there's no real downside. Doesn't matter who wins, you win, you know? Doesn't matter who wins, you feel, uh, you feel like you're part of the champion's team. So there you go. Team Alice Kitty, Annika Greer, got it done. 20 seconds, athletes. Okay, here we go. We got the final heat of the ladies, teams, ladies. Can anyone Ten take seconds. down the Californian girls? That's Jessie Smith from the Californian girls hey. off the ski at first. So Jesse Smith, all done. We've got Jaylee here, last rope climb. The fit mum's chasing them down. Here comes Booney. She's a gymnastic specialist, so she might be able to catch these girls. Danny Spiegel with two reps to go on the climbs now. Okay, looks like Danny Spiegel's finishing up. California girls in the lead still. We've got Torian and Sid Mum chasing them down. Danny with the snatch, stop it. California girls, too good. Another win. Fit Mama's not too far behind. Tori not too far behind. And uh, Star Strength not too far behind. So we'll see if they can catch them later in the weekend. I see everything. I see you, Ricky. I see you. Let's go. Let's go team, let's go. I'm not gonna lie to you, someone needs to wash their knee sleeves. Walking past these athletes, there's some pungent smells coming coming through. Stadium is starting to fill up Saturday afternoon. It's gonna get wild.
Okay, that was wild stuff. The Americans didn't win, so Noah, Chandler, Tola did not win. Jay, Roycey, and Bailey did not win. Ricky Garrard and his young boys took it out. So uh, they got a first place, Noah's team second, and Jay's team in third. So that's going to shake things up. If Ricky's team can stay in the mix, we're going to have three teams battling for that top spot. That's going to make the weekend very interesting. Royce, give me the uh, give me the one minute breakdown of that workout of that uh, event. One minute breakdown. Bar was so much heavier than I think everyone expected. Obviously, you get minced by a ski and rock climb, and they're a little bit shorter collar bars, they're stiffer bars. So all of us are in pretty much the same boat, which is how close to the lightning do you go? Like, do you rush forward and try to take the win just to fail? Luckily, Ricky's team held on, but they were pretty close to the lightning. I had not much left in me. I was really at a 5RM there. And there was only Jay and Bailey, and they said the same thing. If they had skied any harder, it would have been game over. Luckily, last over for the weekend, which I think is what the Ombrace have over us. So let's get onto the gymnastics and we'll take them. Still freaks me out seeing that on there. Crazy jazz. What else you got on there? Uh, the boys. Oh, the boys. Yeah. California girls here. And I've got Hustle Made and Buttery Bros. I've never met a bigger CrossFit fan than this lady right here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Brendo, tell me about this workout. What are we talking? So hard yakka. So the individual athletes have 15 minutes. It's a grindy workout. So they start off with a handstand walk, slalom walk, go back, heaps of kettlebell work, some swings, farmers carries, absolutely blasting the shoulders. We just saw my boy Isaac Newman take heat one. It was about eight minutes 31, which is wild. His second event for the day. Um, but yeah, it's awesome, man. Sweet festival vibes down here. Bro, how about Ricky hey. and the boys winning that last event? Oh, how, about oh, how good was that, eh? Yeah. Ricky yeah. and the boys might have it in them to actually push for the top of the podium. Big call, big call. Yeah. But um, yeah. I think they just got to ride the highs now. Yeah. And just keep sending it. Like they got nothing to lose. They got no pressure. So I think Johan what just turned 19 the other day. So yeah. it's good to see him just back himself and go for the snatch. He missed his second rep, but. Had four to go and seen Big Tola coming up and yeah, just had a bit of a gamble and it paid off. So yeah. I'm stoked for the boys, eh? It's good. Nothing to lose. That's a dangerous place to be. Tell me about your brother, bro. What's uh, what's Toby's strengths? Yeah, dude. Like, uh, like he's a taller dude, so he's, he's really good at rope climbs. Like most of the time, he dusts me in rope climbs. And then in this, um, we we're just saying he's uh, he's really good at farmers carries as well. I don't know. It's just like. That like plumber strength or something, you know what I mean? Like just that raw strength he's pretty good at. So um, yeah, he made a lot of moves on the guys just then and uh, hopefully he can keep it uh, on the hand sample because that's sort of like a little bit of a weakness for him, but hopefully he can hold on and be in a good spot. Okay, home stretch here. We've got Toby Crouch versus Dante from New Zealand. Let's go Crouchy. Okay, Toby's is still sitting in second place here. He lost some time here because he keep touching the white line with his finger, being no repped. But uh, he might get sick in this heat. Freaking torture, bro! Torture. It's getting wrecked by this guy, Jay. Hey, you went for it. Don't worry about it. Hey, I'm so proud of you for that. You stayed calm and you finished it in the end. That's right. That's it. Ah, I was yeah. like, it was in my head. I was like, oh yeah, and you stay calm in like a an annoying moment too. So that's the competition experience, and you learn for next time, eh? Thank you. Thanks, mate. You can see Toby's um his little jump, and then I've been here before, but I got the rip, so uh, <laughs> it worked out for me. That was uh, that was a bit of you, mate. That was a bit of you. Yeah. Um. Kettlebell's heavy, but um, I feel like I just wanted to like stay in control on the handstands because I knew the kettlebells would be a factor and then I think it would just snowball from there. So broke them up. We'll break the slaloms up the whole first section and then try to probably do the same in the second part. Like the regular handstand's easy, but you can't smoke your shoulders knowing you've got to be able to control the direction. So that was tough, but good, it's fun.
bit of rain coming down as these guys are finishing off the final heat. Zane Healy took it out for the men. Okay, we've got the big dogs in the team division. Both male and female teams going right now. Still raining out here. Not ideal. Got the boys from the US in the lead at the moment, and then it's very close between Ricky's team and Jay's team. So Ricky's team is in a slight lead over Royce and Jay's team, but the boys from the US in the lead. There goes the US team. This workout really comes down to the last handstand walk. They've got to do a slalom through these poles. And if they touch the poles or their hands go outside the lines, they've got to go back to no rep. And uh, so many athletes and teams have uh, struggled to keep that standard. So let's we'll see what happens here. Oh, Tola. Tola is way back here and the other teams are catching up. Okay, Jay, Royce and Bailey are making a move. They have overtaken Ricky's team and they've just overtaken Tola as well. So now Jay's team is leading. This is going to be very tight. It looks like Jay, Royce, and Bailey might be taking it. But you do have Noah right behind. That's Royce done. That's Noah done. That's Chandler and Bailey done. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, that was tight. I had to take a little risk at the end. Yeah, we got that, surely. Everyone knows it. Let's go. That was a fun leg race. I was struggling. Had a few f ups, and that sort of put us in the hole at the start. Uh, but yeah, we got it. Got there in the end. Did you get him? Uh, Did you bring him? Uh, I think we got it. Slow it down. I think we got the bands. I don't know if we got the feet on the weight. Rob Forte just came to me and said, hey, can we review your footage? Because it was so close. They want to see on the footage who actually took it out rather than use the, uh, the timer. So they can review the footage. Hopefully uh, my footage was good enough to actually tell who won it. Okay, you can't tell on my little screen. So I'm running over to my computer to put it on the computer big screen and then take a sc screenshot and bring it back to them. Stephanie J. Stephanie J. Someone's got it. Oh, oh yeah, easy, easy honey. double use. Easy, <laughs> easy double use. <laughs> what do we got? That's the, that's the shot I got. I don't know. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. I don't know, that hand's kind of on the line there. That hand's on the line. No, daylight, daylight between the hands. Ooh, I don't know about that. That's on, that's on.
If these boys end up winning this comp because of that photo, I want to cut. I want to cut off the winnings. Hi, Auntie. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you, thank you. Have a great rest of the weekend. Let's do it, brother. Come on in. Thanks, man. How are you? Good, man. Having a good time? Good. Such a good time. Glad to hear it. Got Thanks all the time you. for you guys. Thank you. Appreciate you standing in the rain to watch us. <laughs> Kirsty here just came over. Noah was taking photos of the fans. She's like, stuff Noah, I'll guess I had a vacay. That's that feels makes you feel very special, Kirsty. Yeah, that's where it's at, it's where it's yeah. at. Hey man, she came for me first. No, right? she came for me. <laughs> yeah, did Maxie have a birthday recently? Max just turned 10. Whole decade from my boy. Let's go. My little boy's at one now. Oh wow. Georgie, one year okay. old. I gotta so, meet that guy. You do. He looks very adorable. He is. They're the best, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Good old Goldens. Yeah. Are you gonna get a Georgie tattoo? A module. I've been thinking about it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. See the Maxi one? I see the Maxi one. I've got a chip. Uh, my other dog's chip. I've got a little C on my wrist oh, there for nice. chip. Very cool. A bit more subtle than yours, but. Chip's a beagle, right? Chip's a beagle. Look. How does this workout go? How does it work? I don't know. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, you got a, it's four load. You go in 10 muscle ups and then into a three RM squat clean. And then you got a one minute rest. So that's in a two minute window. Then you get a one minute rest. And then you got to repeat that with a two RM. So then in the, in the second window, you got 10, 10 ring muscle ups, two RM squat clean, one minute rest. And then, uh, then you get an extra minute, so you get a three minute uh, window to accumulate a one RM squat clean after doing your 10 ring muscle ups. So you got 30 ring muscle ups. And then, yeah, so good luck PB and uh, clean after 30 muscle ups. That makes, that makes total sense to me. Really, that was with the kids. Got the two kids at home watching, and Cooper and Alala, they're with me all the way, so um, yeah, had to do it for them, had to do it for the wife as well, and it's awesome being here. We've got some snacks in the stands here, let's go. Get the boy field. <laughs> Thank you. Love a pot, eh? Love a pot. I'm fading, bruh. I'm fading hard. I need a little energy boost of some sort. Get it. Look at the state of it. Let's go. go. That's what we're gonna do Sunday. We're gonna send it. That's what it's gonna be. Proud of you, boys. Let's go. Up 
boys. Wow. Hey, hey, go. A dog. How old are you, bro? 19. 19 years old. Where does the strength come from? Is it genetics? Is it food? What? What's the secret? It's just eating and sleeping and then Benny's programming because you got to throw the coach your bone and then having fun. So if you don't have fun, you won't lift that heavy, I don't reckon. Is that a new PB or have you lifted done heavier? Nah, nah, it was a PB. 2.5 kg PB. Can you, uh, can you jerk it? Oh, yeah. Bro, you called it. The young dog no, did it. That's what I him for. Yeah. Called him up, though. What a week ago, I said, bro, I need you to come clean 180. Yeah, good. Man, that was hectic. That was hectic, bro. Day number two, eh? Full of drama. So, in the end, with the handstand walking finished there, they decided to hand the win to Jay Crouch and his team. Uh, I've got nothing to do with it. My hands are clean. I just gave over the footage. It was the judges calling the end, and apparently they ruled that Jay's hand was over the line, and it was indeed a hit of Tola. So that's that. But uh, then we had the muscle up clean event, and you had to do whatever the rep scheme was. So whether you were doing the threes or the twos, it had to be consecutive successful lifts. Not tap and go, but as soon as you started the lift, it had to be completed and successful. Unfortunately, Chandler Smith on the round of twos cleaned his first one successfully, then walked up to the bar and deadlifted it and dropped it. So essentially that is a second lift failed and therefore he has to start his two lifts again. That meant that they ran out of time and I think Noah didn't finish his lift either. So they basically didn't get any score, much of a score on that round so I think they placed 11th we'll look at the scoring soon 11th on that workout which is really unfortunate um, Royce Dunn actually on the very first round was supposed to do 10 muscle ups before doing his three cleans he did five muscle ups with Bailey synchronized and then he was meant to do five more by himself but he just walked off of Bailey not intentional and um, and therefore he got zero on that lift as well but they still play second I believe so let's look at the standings from day two. Oh, of course we can't not mention the young man, Johan, 19 years old, cleaned 182.5 kgs. What the heck, man? And as you guys saw, I asked him if he could jerk it and without hesitation, he's like, yep, I can, I can jerk that easily, so. Okay, so the standings after day two on the men's team side, we have Team Frog Rips, that's Jay, Jay's team. Uh, they are in first place currently on 480 points. Then we actually have a couple of dogs, that's Ricky Garrard's team with the young boys in second place on 465, only 15 points back. So that's gonna be very interesting. And then unfortunately, Noah's team, the Ombre Hombres in third place, they're back a little bit on 436 points, but hopefully they can make a search today. We've got two workouts left. On the ladies' side, much closer than I thought it would be. We've got the California girls and the next Letica Gold, that's the Cross Victorian team, tied up at 475 points. Star Strength in third place and the Fit Mums right behind them there in fourth place. So I really want to see the Fit Mums get on the podium, eh? So we'll see what they can do on day three. For the Indies, on the men's side, Peter Ellis is running away with it. He's 70 points clear of Jonathan Dunlop, uh, Zach Thomas in third, Zane Healy in fourth, and Luke de Jong in fifth. And finally, on the ladies' side, the top five, we've got Maddie Sturt in first place, Gracie Walton in second, Annika Greer, really impressed by her uh, this weekend. She's in third place. Daisy McDonald in fourth and Taylor Williams in fifth. Thank you guys for all the love on the first vlog. That is day two done. Enjoy it. Jump in the comments, say hi. Who do you think is going to take it out? Can the Ombre, I guess by the time you see this, yeah, nah, by the time you see this, it's be all over. Don't worry about it. Just stay sexy. Keep, keep, keep running. It's early, guys. It's like six in the morning. Keep roaring love. Just keep roaring love, you know. And I will see you tomorrow. Uh, I've got a workout now here with uh, Mr. Khan Porter and uh, James Newbury, Alice Kitty workout. Okay, bye. Mwah.